Motocross race at Glen Helen this weekend. Things got pretty crazy last time. Just ask Autumn. That's it for today. Remember, if it's happening at Millwood, you heard it here first. Nice. You are the host with the most. Words. You have the most words. What did I tell you about snapping and making weird mouth sounds? Girls hate it. Exactly. If you weren't such a weirdo, girls might actually give you half a chance. But anyway, that was some hot goss about Autumn and the race. We need to raise the stakes. Aye, aye, Captain. I have just the thing. I give you Cameron. Who is Cameron? It's a video camera. It captures everything that goes on outside of my locker. I even caught one of the janitors putting gum under the water fountain when they were supposed to be cleaning off. See, that kind of stuff is exactly what I don't care about. <sighs> Haven't talked to Kate yet, huh? I can't deal with that right now. But you're dating her brother. Eventually, you'll have to figure it out. She should have thought of that before she started dating Brayden. It's only gonna get more awkward the longer you're with Sam. It's fine, seriously. Okay, everybody, listen up. As you know, we have a test tomorrow. Uh. And it is going to be cumulative. That means it's on everything we've studied up to this point. Hey, so are you sure this is your first dance class? You're picking up those combinations so fast. Thanks. I mean, sometimes I just don't know how to put it all together. It's like my mind knows what I'm doing, but my feet didn't get the message. Yeah, I know what you mean. When I, uh, when I was doing karate for the first time, my sensei was telling me all about this mind-body connection. And I never really understood what that meant until I started dancing. You do karate too? Dance, karate, tai chi, yoga, anything where I can move. And also meditation, but that's how I can learn to sit still. You have so many interests. Yeah, well, when you're homeschooled, you gotta try a lot of different things or else it gets super boring. <laughs> so what about you? What do you like to do? Well, I'm getting into dance. My favorite things to do are usually by myself and quiet. Like? Like stargazing, reading puzzles. <laughs> That's cool. It means you're smart. Whenever I look at a puzzle, I just see hours of frustration. And also my dog eats all the pieces. <laughs> well, I guess you just need that mind puzzle connection. So what does your boyfriend like to do? Uh, well, he plays guitar. <laughs> I don't know, I guess we don't really talk about it that much. As you know, today was supposed to be test day. However, I'm postponing because I have to write a new test. Because somehow my test answer key has gone missing. I don't think I have to remind you all that cheating is a serious honor code violation. You know who you are. And I hope you feel ashamed. Cheaters never win, winners never cheat. Except when they do, and no one likes them for it. Lance Armstrong. Mr. Fensterman said you want to see me? Oh yeah, have a seat, Scott. Scotty, Scott Word. Just Scott's fine. Well, uh, <clears throat> why do you think you're here today? If it's about the posters, I know I got kind of carried away. I just really want to win class president. It's my thing, right? Yes, I do want that to be your thing, Scott, so badly. But there's a thing about being vice principal. And, uh, and... All right, thank you. Just gonna have a peek. <clears throat> The drawing, big book. <sighs> is this what I think it is? <sighs> Scott, you have the right to remain silent. Or you can just tell me why you have 
Mrs. Morrison's answer key in your backpack. I didn't take that. Mrs. Morrison said she was only out of the classroom for five minutes to call her cat. Her words, not mine. Mr. Lane, I didn't take that. I studied for the test. I want to believe you, Scott. I do. The evidence is not on your side. We'll talk later about what this means for the election. For now, I have some other crimes to solve. Someone has been putting gum underneath all the water fountains. And your vice principal, justice never sleeps. You okay? I didn't take the answer sheet. Someone put it in my bag. Remember, I was with you during study period. That's crazy. Of course you didn't take it. There's no way Mr. Lane's gonna let me run for president now. You shouldn't be punished for something you didn't do. You know what the worst part is? What? Now with me disqualified, there's only one person left in the race. Obviously, you can't have a cheater as a class president. It would look bad. So, I'm sure Mr. Lane won't let Scott run. You need someone who's honest and has her priorities straight. Morning. Are you doing all right? Scott's freaking out, and I don't know how to help him. Did you find out if they're gonna let him run? Not yet, but I know he didn't cheat. I've been with him constantly. And I believe you. He's one of the smartest people in our class. It doesn't make any sense. It's so unfair. He'll be so upset if he can't run. But I guess, on the other hand... How do you feel about it? It would suck if he couldn't, but honestly, and be a little relieved. He's been so focused on winning and what it would be like after we win. It's all he can talk about. It just feels like, I don't know, a lot of pressure. Yeah. He passed me a note that literally had a drawing of me as his first lady. I wish he would just relax. I'm not even sure if I'm the person he thinks I am. Yeah, I get that. Enough about me. Still radio's hounds with Cassie? Nothing to report? This can't go on forever. Can you girls give us a second? Thank you, ladies. You gotta stop with that. This, this better be good. So, searching through the footage on Cameron, and I found something I think you're gonna wanna see. O N G. Good morning, Millwood. It looks like Scott pulled ahead in overnight polls for class president, and despite the rumors, he is definitely in the race. Ah, Diana Banana. Just the person I wanted to see. We need to talk. Of course. Always glad to talk to you about anything, Mr. Lane. 